Hello guys, this is a Jake Lebe. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to automate your car. That is extremely easy and simple. So I just um I made this car very fast and then I created some curve to to, 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 to animate or to automate it. So but that is very very easy. I will explain to you um, why I have these two curves and um, the car. So what I did I made the car and um, I just um the car and I leave it in the wheels that I'm gonna be animating so it's pretty easy so um, if you are in model you have to go to animation then you go to key and from key you see set driven and you check the box to just um, open up this thing so um, this will be the driver this is the driver this is like the wheel or the steering of the car the, and um, what you got just gonna have to do is select this and um, load driver so you have this thing this golf as your driver so um, and um, watch this because um, I'm gonna be animating this just along um, Z axis translating it along Z axis that is why I I had to disable and hide them um, lock and hide the, the other um, channel so I don't have mistakenly I don't mistakenly click um, any other thing so um, now let's select the first one uh, which is uh, the left the back left uh, sorry this also is supposed to be B which is back left so I love to work on uh, outline now on this so that I don't uh, uh, confuse myself so this is the first one so I'm just gonna select load um, driven so this is the driver and this is the driven so this guy cop will be driving this one so that is just the thing so um there is one thing you have to do before you, you keep up you you might um have to do this um for the first time or um, before you start uh, the, the other thing so and that thing is just go to wait um, and um, create measure to distance too. So we want to measure the distance of this wheel. Press um, B so that you can select where you want it to be. And um, so I'm just gonna press some um, shift so to be in a straight line, something like that. So I can press W then move it around. Like move it to, or I can easily come to the side and move it to the side. So I have um 5.1 um 76 um 06. Um, that is fine. That is uh the, the, the distance of my wheel. It's it's very very important that you know the distance of your wheel or of your tire. If um let me say so. Um, I'm fine with that. So what I'm gonna do now is select um this. My driver and um, the driven, then um, I'm just gonna keep it at zero. At zero, the two um, stop must be on zero. You can see translate zero and um, the, the rotate two must be in on the zero. So I'm just gonna say key. I've keyed that point. I've keyed that point. So I can go back to um, this is the first one I'm selecting. So um, what I'm gonna do now is um, to know the distance. Um, let me explain this very well. So um, just gonna put this. So this point. I think this is the guy I'm working on. So um, this my guy here. Uh, my uh, I want to know when um, to have uh, the distance this thing must cover for me to have um, a completed system here. Um, um, completed system rotation, uh, if you know what I mean. So I must get the distance of this thing, the actual distance for, of this guy, uh, for me to know um, where the distance where I would have 360 um, rotation, and that is very, very easy. You can still remember the, uh, the distance of our reader copy the other time so what i will just do is uh, i'm just going to select um, say uh, um, this distance which is 5.1 multiplied by 3.14 um 16 3.1415 so that is what i'm doing. Uh, this is gonna be uh 16 16 point uh, 26 one one 
Africa 2021. That is that is it. It's gonna be. So I will copy it. I'll copy it for um the time. So um, that is the distance I want. So I have my distance for uh, my driver. So at this distance, I must have it uh, completed 60 for my view. So I'm just gonna write type um, 360 and then I'll pin it again. So now if I move this guy back, you can see the tire is rotating but the moment I pass the boundary it stops. So that is very very easy. I can go to animation editor under Windows graph editor and then um, I can select my uh, press the so that you can maximize this. Say you can lean at it again. And let's go to view infinity so that you can build it if you like. If you're using, uh, I don't know why it doesn't show here. I don't know why. So I'll go to post uh, pre infinity circle with offset so that will keep going this way. I'll call post infinity. So now I can move this guy to anywhere and it keeps, it keeps rotating. So let's go back to zero. So um, now let's um, go to uh, this is the first one I did. So I'm just gonna do this one then um, for uh, the whole thing for you guys. It's a waste of time. So um, this is the back um, wheel tire. So I'll make it a driven, not driven. So that's changed. So um, when uh, this guy is in zero, the translator, the driver is in zero, I can key the two. And um, when it is in the uh, selected, when it is in that value, we added the other time. Now I can go to the right and uh, uh, just type to the 60, just like I did for the first time. So now I can that so I can key it and um, again um, if I sorry so let's see this is the one side I selected so if I select this guy it passes the boundary it stops so the same thing I did to the first time and for the first one which is um tangent linear tangent curves full unity or pre infinity circles of sets um, Pro, pro, circle with offset. Now let's see. Uh, see, it keeps going. That is exactly what I want. So I'm just gonna do for um the the, the, uh, the other one. So, so guys, I'm done. I'm done with um everything. You can see the two tires are rolling, and um checking the other side. They are rolling so that is exactly what i want so i can go back to zero so the essence of this is i want this uh, my car to actually move because the wheels are just moving and i want the car to move and this is like um, i created this you see um, i can call this global so i know that this will move the car itself so um if i select the car and um, then shift select the global so I can parent it by pressing P. So I have the spirits um, to move my uh, car around. But so this is um, um, responsible for the wheel moving. So I can select this, then maybe take it back to zero. Now I can um, select this guy, then shift select my uh, driver, then I can parent it. So if I press this, I can select this and move. You can see it's move um, accordingly. It's move um, the way it's supposed to move. So that is um, what we um, we are actually um, trying to achieve here. So um, that is it, guys. That is it. That is how, how to do it. So.